Hey everybody, and thanks for joining us. Faith in an ever-changing world, encouragement and hope. I'm Janet Harley, your host. And it is my pleasure to have with me today, Karen Moore. Karen is an author and she's author of more than 100 books in the inspirational and devotional book categories, as well as over 20 children's books. And just this month, uh, her, her book, our devotional prayers to strengthen your soul, uh, is on the market. Karen, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, Janet, what a pleasure for me to get to oh. be here. So thank you for having me. Yes, yes. Exciting. And yeah, right after our short intro, we'll hear more from Karen Moore. <laughs> Stay with us. And Karen, we're back. Okay. If you will, please share with us in this season, what has God given you to do and how is faith helping you do it? Well, that is definitely the right question. <laughs> I love the question. You know, I think that he's given me an assignment that I have been working toward building and growing and understanding mm -hmm. over time. And writing books was certainly part of that calling. Uh, but I think the big there are a couple of big things that, that I feel even more impressed that I need to do now. Uh, one is telling God's story, right? I, mm. I feel like that the no matter how many ways we tell it, there's still somebody out there who hasn't heard it quite mm -hmm. like that, who That's needs right. to hear it, who's yeah. waiting to hear it, who actually is praying that somebody would tell them the story. <laughs> and so in my heart of hearts, whenever mm -hmm. I get an opportunity to create a new book, part of my prayer for the reader is, Lord, let there be somebody who didn't get this before, who reads this and says, oh, I think I'm starting to see something here. <laughs> I yes. think I, I believe something is happening. So, you know, I, I've loved that opportunity. And, uh, you know, by some grace of God, I've continued to be able to do that. But in this particular season, I feel even more, actually, um, like God is impressing on me. Okay, so, you know, we come with a timeline I'm figuring out. And if there's a timeline in my world, then that means I really need to focus, right, yes. on the thing that is important. And this is important, telling God's story yes. and um, learning about him, getting to know him yes. <laughs> in ways that we never did before. Hmm. Uh, and pray. Those those are like the keys to what I really want to do. And so I I blog because that's another avenue for yes. me to have yes. people, uh -huh. you know, come and mm -hmm. get an opportunity to just get another perspective. You know, I like to, I'm not an in your face kind of person, but mm -hmm. I do like people to get another perspective and, and to, to realize that that God is open to them. He yes. loves them so much that he will just, any little nugget that he can use, <laughs> he will use to help them see you Absolutely, know, yes. mm -hmm. what he has for them. So I think that's part of what I feel now. And um, speaking is actually something that I feel even more uh, important for me to do again. I did it. Uh, for a little bit before COVID, and then of course it shut most of us down that we're doing the speaking. Uh, I am going to, uh, I have an opportunity coming up in February, February 18th, and I'll be speaking on the topic of prayer. And I'm very excited about it. I, I, you know, when I was praying to get to jump back into speaking, of course, my thought was maybe I could pray or, or, or speak to a prayer group or a women's group for 
a half an hour or well this is going to be a retreat so it's six hours from nine, oh my. <laughs> nine in the morning till three <laughs> and i'm thinking okay god you have such a sense of humor <laughs> just don't be right in there uh and i'm just praying for stamina yes. <laughs> praying. I'm praying that there's a message in that talk that will work mm. for you know every woman in that room i i want more than anything for them to leave there saying to themselves yes. you know i really i really need to pray more mm -hmm. i really need to figure out that this prayer thing is actually a big deal <laughs> <laughs> and i don't know that we've I don't even know that I've been very good at it, even though I am, I would call myself a prayer person. Right. Um, but I would also say I have a lot to learn and I look forward to this season of my life to actually dive in even deeper into that. So wow. that's part of what I want to do now. And, you know, how does faith help me with that? Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I couldn't do anything okay. without it. So, um, you know, God is so gracious mm. that he just shows up, right? Mm, he has he a way of letting us know we're on a track that he's encouraging us to keep mm -hmm. going. And he's been blessing me with those things since I was a kid. And I don't know why exactly, because, you know, I wasn't always a great kid, but apparently I was enough of a kid that wanted to know about him that he keeps <laughs> letting me do this stuff. So, you know, I, I started out and I'll just tell you a quick story. I started out uh, as a child in a home where we didn't, you know, we didn't do church and we didn't mm -hmm. do prayer and we didn't do the things that you might think because of the work I do that maybe I grew up this way. Well, no, not, no, mm -hmm. not really. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I had a family that didn't respect prayer, but we just didn't do it. Sure. And as a kid maybe six or seven years old i remember going to my great grandmothers mm. and i always want to encourage grandmothers out there to realize what a difference they can make in this yes. world with their grandchildren Definitely. but anyway i went to my great grandmother's house on sundays for dinner sometimes and i realized that when we were at grandma's house we'd always pray before dinner but we didn't do that at our house and i didn't know why how about so that? at one point when I was back at home in my room by myself, I just remember saying, okay, so I'm kind of worried about this because <laughs> I said, God, I don't know how to pray. So would you teach me? And that was all I said, because I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and two days, no kidding, two days later, these two ministers him knocking at the door of our house. Now this wasn't easy because we lived out in the country and there probably wasn't a house, you know, every half mile might've been another house. Why they knocked on our door, I mean, they could have done a lot more work in the yeah. town or mm -hmm. in a city, but no, they're walking up this dirt road and they knocked on our door. And so mom opened the door and I walked out of my bedroom at the very precise moment <laughs> when one of them said, do you know the four steps of how to pray? Oh, I was just blown away. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I remember thinking, wow, that's how it works. You just ask God for things and you find somebody to tell you the answer. <laughs> and of course, I've learned a little bit since then, but it was the beginning of me realizing that there was this being, um, you know, maybe the hound of heaven, as some have called God, you know, who wants us to know he's there. Wow. And I love that he steps in and says, here's an opportunity. Yes. Here's something that you could learn and oh. something you could do. So, wow, that that's powerful. That's that's. Thank you, Karen, for sharing that. And, and I do uh, want you, if you could, uh, to show your book. Oh, um, okay. yes. All right. I think you've got a couple of uh, books you'd like to show uh, to okay. show us. So if you would do well, that. Well, this one is called Prayers to Strengthen Your Soul. Let's see. Is yes. It, are you seeing that okay? Prayers yes. to Strengthen Your Soul. It was published by Broad Street Publishers. Mm. Um, 
it will be out uh, February 7th that releases. Well, it, it's already, and, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Already so it's, it's about the time. on Amazon. You can find it there. And, um, and if you happen to still have a Christian bookstore, <laughs> it, it should show up there. But it is a 365 daily prayer uh, opportunity mm. to help anyone just kind of get started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and kind of talk to God about something special. And yes. um, I just I just love having a chance to do that. And I tried very hard in that book to create prayers on all different kind of levels yeah. so that, you know, we might respond to that. Absolutely. Yes. And I think you have one more that you'd I like to have actually <laughs> one more. Thank you. Um, I have one that came out actually a couple years ago prior to this with Thomas Nelson, Harper Collins, and it's called, whoop, it's still possible. Oh. And this book is 100 readings for any of us to try to, who might feel like, oh, I, I, I guess I've done everything I was supposed to. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if there's much else I can do. It's, it's a reminder that, you know, if we're still breathing and our heart's still interested in doing more, God will work with us and we can get it done. Oh, well, you are a gifted writer. Thank You're you. You're a gifted writer, Karen, so and uh, so enjoy uh, in your devotionals. And uh, But I do want to put up some information in case uh, someone would like to contact you okay. or connect with you. Uh, okay. If you'd like for Karen to come and speak, uh, KarenMoreAuthor.com. And then her email is Karen at KarenMoreAuthor.com. Dot com. Thank you so much for being with me today, Karen, and uh, for, for sharing your new season and what God is, uh, is, has asked you to do. And uh, thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. I would like to give a shout out to Creative Motion Network and Abundant TV. They are great networks for you and your family. Have faith and look up, friends, where our help comes from. Bye. God bless. Thank you, Janet.